Hello, my name is Charles Elliott Gordon, and this is preparatory assignment number eight for 2016 Licensing School for the North Alabama Conference, and this is my testimony. Uh, like many people, I grew up in the church. Uh, I've never known a time in my life when I wasn't at church or involved in church. In fact, uh, I jokingly uh, tell the story that on Sunday morning, the question never was, are you going to church? The question was, what are you wearing to church today? Uh, I grew up, uh, married a, a strong Christian woman. We were active in our local congregation of the Methodist Church. I served on many committees, sang in the choir, but always had a longing and a desire that there was something more out there. Uh, around about 2001, uh, 31 years of age, I attended an Emmaus walk, the walk to Emmaus. Uh, it was life-changing for me, for many reasons. Uh, I found out, and I think one of the most important parts of that was that I discovered that people could love me and, and appreciate me just for, just for me. Um, I didn't owe them anything. They didn't want anything from me. Um, and that was an eye-opening experience. And, and things got better from that point on. Um, I, I felt a, a, a place, if you will, in the Emmaus community. Uh, I became uh, even stronger, active in my church, uh, chairman of the administrative council, uh, you name it. I, you know, I was there. Uh, but still had this longing, this desire in my heart that there had to be something else. Um, traveling to and from work uh, was about a 45-minute ride uh, at that time for me. And one cold winter evening, uh, around in November, December, early December, late November, uh, decided that for no particular reason whatsoever that I would not take the normal route home. My normal journey carried me across uh, through a couple of towns and, and on a major highway. And for whatever reason, uh, I couldn't really think of one other than I'm just going to go the, the what we call the back way home. Uh, country highways, lonely, uh, dark. Uh, it was already nighttime at the time uh, you know the time had changed and and it was already dark at 5 five thirty that day as I was traveling uh, down the down the road I I got a feeling of uh, I don't know emptiness to me and um, pulled into a closed abandoned uh, building parking lot and as I sat there and wept Praying to God that there had to be something that I could do. There was something more for my life. And I will never forget the fact that, that I was told I could hear audibly the words, There is something more. There is something more. Well, I composed myself. And I knew at the time, I knew at the moment it happened, I had heard the word of God. So I composed myself, drove home, shared it with my my wife, and ended up very shortly after that becoming the youth minister at our church, the youth director at our church, and loved that position immensely. That went for six years or so. And um, there was a change in our ministry team, and the minister there decided that was at Russellville first with the time decided it was time to move that that youth position to a um, full time position and I understand that and and supported that and the the suggestion was made that since I would no longer be able to do that that I might consider the ministry and at the time I I didn't know that that was what my calling might be but. After prayerful thought and consideration and prayer and discussion, um, I've never once regretted entering the ministry. Um, what I do on a weekly basis for the church, I, I don't find it work at all. It's a, it's a pleasure and a joy. 
Um, I just I, I love the fact that I get to do what I'm doing, and I appreciate all of the support that I've received, and I hope to continue my thoughts and my, my study and my learning and my service to God through the, the ministry of the United Methodist Church. Thank you.